feeling very distressed. Uh, it's like an earthquake that has hit his world and nothing is stable anymore. His entire universe became absolute chaos. And it's not that he himself was suffering alone. People whom he cared about were also suffering. I'm sure you've been in a similar situation. Either you are now or maybe you're in, you have been in the past. And if it hasn't happened, unfortunately, the nature of life and reality is that it is most probably, it will most probably happen. It is said that every seven to ten years, in general, something of huge magnitude happens usually in people's lives that shakes their entire foundation. When this happens, feelings of sadness being broken from inside, being overwhelmed, anger, exhaustion, fatigue, hopelessness, helplessness, lack of focus and concentration, no energy, disorientation, You're just, you just, you wake up, you, you don't know what, where to start. Maybe you can't even pick yourself up. You don't even have enough energy to start your day. Because you're under a mountain of pressure. So what do you do in these situations? What do you do when this happens, when you are in the process of exercising leadership or where you are just living your life and life happened. What do you do? Where do you find your sources of strengths? One of the most reliable and credible and solid source of strength is to think about your loved ones. Move all your attention, energy and focus towards your loved ones. When you do that, because of the power of love, because of the power of meaning that love and care to those people or whatever cause you really care about gives you, you will have access to substantial, surprising sources of energy. It will happen. Even if you don't care about yourself, even if you don't have energy, enough energy to pick yourself up, to pick your spirit up, to heal your own personal wounds, because you focus your attention on your loved ones, on a cause or a purpose that you really care about, something strange will happen. You will have the initiative back in your hand. You will have energy. Focus will come back to you. Your exhaustion and fatigue will be replaced by stamina and power. Your fear will be replaced by courage. And you will find yourself doing what you have to do in this situation in terms of fulfilling your duties and responsibilities towards the people whom you love. I'll just give you an example. Maybe two examples. Imagine you are devastated for whatever reason and 
somebody you care about suddenly fell sick and this person's survival depended on getting the right medication as fast as possible and you know that there is a pharmacy or a hospital five miles away I bet you you will run faster than you have ever did before even though you would personally be in a very exhausted state now where did that energy that would make you that would make you run so fast where did this come from it came from the meaning and the love that you have towards that person that's the power of meaning and purpose and love I'm sure you've heard so many stories where people have said I don't know where courage came to me I don't know from where this strength and power came to me I did things that I never imagined I could do I don't know what happened but something happened to me and I felt so much energy that I could move mountains to save my son or my partner or my parents or to rescue people another example maybe you've seen that on TV sometimes in sports games some accidents happen and somebody breaks something in their body hurt themselves you know in soccer football you name it because there's so much at stake and because there's this honorable purpose of getting the entire team to win you would see these people who are really suffering from pain battling their own physical health issue and continuing the game in spite of the pain until they win you would see medical teams rushing to them and then telling them no 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 stay away i want to stay here i want to continue i want to continue the game because why, why did this happen because of the power of meaning and purpose that energized them and in that case was helping their people their team to win their staff to win their organization to win their parents to 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 heal their family to overcome the adversity their country to be safe whatever cause that is meaningful to them that's the power of meaning meaning and love and purpose has a healing power has a power that sedates pain that's the nature of thing maybe that's one of the blessings and the gifts that we have as human beings I don't even think it's human being I've seen documentaries where even other mammals and creatures do the same put themselves in danger for the sake of their loved ones you know their kids or offsprings actually even sometimes sacrificing themselves for this for to save their their babies there is another good side to this even if you are in a state where you think of yourself as a secondary in terms of priority you don't really have time for yourself when you focus consciously on others when you say to yourself it's about them when you say to yourself I have to be the strongest person that I can be now for their sake when you say to yourself I have be I have to be the best that I can be so that I can save them or hold them or heal them even if you're broken from inside because you're in that state you will have better reasons to take care of yourself because I don't want what I've said to mean that you should ignore yourself not at all what I'm saying is that when you're under so much pressure and you don't know what to do and you're almost giving up 
and that's valid and justified and there is a billion reason to feel like this sometimes in life if you focus your attention on your loved ones and fulfilling your duties and responsibilities towards them or towards a cause or a purpose that means to you you will find that there is a bigger reason more justifiable reason towards yourself so that you can take care of you because you will be doing it for their sake now ideally you should do it for yourself because you're also valuable you're also important but this is sort of a trick that you can do so you would say to yourself I have to be healthy for them I have to rest for them I have to take care of my sanity for them I have to take care of my you know my body my my work my whatever you know your entire being so that you're there for them so this technique or this approach to dealing with extreme adversity when your entire universe is shaken when you're overwhelmed by chaos is one of the strongest mechanisms that will help you trigger your survival and growth mechanisms so that you're back in control in spite of the pain and the sorrow and the sadness and the despair and the hopelessness and the fact that everything within you is telling you give up or disappear the fact that you can't get out of bed or if you get out of bed you can't just leave home everything in within you is telling you find a way exit maybe even finish your own life I mean in extreme cases it happens it's not if not to you maybe to other people it will become that extreme so when you do this mechanism that we talked about you will find that you've tapped into an amazing source of strength I hope you don't get into that situation I really hope so but I have seen enough of life and I'm sure you have also seen the same that in life sometimes these things happen your entire universe suddenly shatters or gradually you know one problem after the other until it becomes it's too much it's too much and you're ready just to give up you don't even want to hear about being resilient and strong you don't want to hear that but if you move your focus towards people you care about or a purpose or a meaning that really touches your heart you would tap into a source of your salvation and the people and of that people around you that's the power of love that's the power of meaning and that's the power of purpose